One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite Six Six Six, and you are watching me play the Guild Wars Two Living Story. We are back with the next part of Season One, Part Two: Sky Pirates, where we have just attended an effigy burning ceremony at uh, the Dragon Bash Festival, and something blew up and has killed a couple people, one of whom was. Uh, uh, Captain Theo Ashford of the Captain's Council. And so now we are uh, investigating into all that. And so we have mail. Let's read mail from Jory. Suspects located. Cure Bone Reaver. The Lion Guard have leads on three of the five missing suspects. I'd love to get lost in this mystery, but I'm needed in Lion's Arch. We only just met, but I need someone who can travel to interrogate the suspects, and you've proven critical in this investigation. Kazmir is wrapped up with paperwork back at the bar. Do what you can to convince the suspects to return to Lion's Arch, and take good notes if they say anything interesting. Here's the intel we've got on their locations. We discovered footprints from the ogre suspect, Vork, leaving the crime scene in Lion's Arch. Follow them. Reports indicate Moralu, the quaggan suspect, is in Blood Tide Coast in the Sorrowful Sound. Find him. And then the script suspect, Kasparak, was sighted in Genderin Fields near Al Almutan Estate. I'll continue to investigate into the whereabouts of our last two suspects. Be wary. Trust your instincts and instincts, instincts, and stay alive. All right, we gotta go find stuff. Well, there's one there. Somebody's hiding there. Oh, somebody's somebody's hiding down there. And then there's the big circle. Well, since we're already here in Gender and Fields. Let's go find that script. Well, that killed some of them. That just killed all my speed. Oh, script, where are you hiding? No, but I'm gonna chop this tree. You there, people who live in this house made of boats, have you seen a suspicious script anywhere? There's Drade in your flower box. Interested in something specific? I don't think the script's here. I would say, oh, I remember, but I honestly don't remember. It has been so long. Oh, script, where you hide? I'm coming to get you. I wonder if I'll have to go through the jumping puzzle that came out with this release for some reason or not. I don't remember if that ended up being required for anything or not. Seeing people calling out doing ports for it. It's like, ah, jumping puzzle portals. Drunk Silvari. Hello, Drunk Silvari. I've seen things, you know, strange things, like pirates leaping right out of the barrels over there. Peculiar, isn't it? You'll believe me, don't you? <laughs> have you been drinking? Maybe just a little. I have a sip here, there, and here again. I help make wine, you know? Delicious, delicious wine. Oh, do you have the recipe? I would never release the recipe, even if you plied me with a crate of our finest vintage. However, you can get a basic winemaking recipe from my associate. Cheese that way. Somewhere. Can you be more specific? Oh, of course I can. Here you go. Soon you'll be formatting your own fermenting. Oh, hey, oh look, I'm thirsty again. 
you know what, I'm pretty sure I probably already have this recipe. But for shits and giggles. You know what, I don't care anymore. I saw the little marker over here. Hello there, Scrit. Hey. You aren't shiny. You smell like sea. Good smell, though. Shiny man gave me shiny for big party. Said they give other Scrit a long vacation. That was nice. Need you to return to Lion's Arch for questioning. The Lion's Arch? No. No! Big noise. Screaming. Very scary. Didn't know what to do. Felt guilty for running. We'll stay out here. Stay safe. Yes, safe here. Are you sure? There are lots of shiny things back in Lion's Arch. Really? Okay. Back to Lion's Arch we go. Toodle do. Yes, yes. Big lady. Smelled of shiny. She did it. She gave shiny. Thanks. We could have used that fact earlier. Ooh, me solve case, me genius. You are something all right. Ah, uh, Skrit are amusing. I like one that's in one of the, uh, the area hearts in Metrica Province, the Asura starter area, has you testing Skrit for, like, intelligence, because that's what the Asura do. And one of the things is involves oh oh botch that involves telling a script that you can read his mind. He's like, nah, -uh, you can't read minds. And you're like, yo, yeah, I can. And so it's like, well, if you're so smart, tell me what I'm thinking. And your response is shinies. And the script's like, oh, you read minds. And then your response to close the dialogue is like, no, you're dumb. Mind reading isn't real. And it's very silly. It's just easy because all Skrit think about is shinies. Alright. Let's go to this Dermot Priory. Why are we? Priory camp down here. Fly my skimmer. Underwater. Oh, do I have to do the quaggin specifically next? I guess, since there's nothing highlighted here in my thing specifically says, go find the quaggin next. I guess we'll go find the quaggin next. Quaggin, I'm coming for you. Oh, they didn't work. Alright, Quaggan, where are you hiding? Do well. Well, found the Quaggan. Alright, I need a bit more precision than the thing is affording me. Hello, Quaggan. Please don't hurt Quaggan or Quaggan's tadpoles. Quaggan just did what Quaggan was told. They threatened Quaggan's nursery. Quaggan had to carry the offering to the effigy. Who is they, and what did they do to your offering? Quaggan didn't recognize them, and it was dark. They did something to Quaggan's offering. It was fast. Quaggan didn't think. Foo, at least the tadpoles are safe, the little ones. It takes courage to defend tadpoles like this. Or, ha, your tadpoles will be ashamed of you if you don't do what's right. Guilt trip the Quaggan. Ah, you are right. Quaggan will come to Lion Search, if only to set a good example for the tadpoles. Good. See you in Lion Search.
Guilt trip the quaggan. All right, back to uh, Lion's Arch now. Hold on, is that a mastery point that I don't have? Simultaneously above and below me. It should be like right here, but I don't see anything. I don't know. Odd. Whatever. Don't care right now. It's not like I need Central Terrier Mastery Points for anything. I filled out other tracks a long time ago. Unless they've added more that I just missed. They haven't added more that I just missed, have they? Nope. Commander, Legendary, and Fractal Attunement. Alright, now we'll go find the ogre. Could have found him when I was, you know, in the neighborhood. But no. how the navigation arrows on the map are pointing me back that way for some reason. Alright, Ogre, where are you hiding? You people over here. You know anything about an ogre? Or are you just partying? I think they're just partying. What was back here? I don't remember. Well, you know, that might come in later. That might be a later thing. I mean, I did say check near the Priory Camp, so let's do that. Let's go above things and look around. Pointing me arrows. Over here. What's over here? Hardly where the ogre's hiding. Hmm. He appears to be a bit dead. Upon closer inspection, this corpse matches the description of the missing Dragon's Bash ogre representative. Search the area for clues with the Tassie Box. The Tassie Box detects anomalous arcane materials on the corpse. Log materials as evidence. Uh-oh. Shenanigans are afoot. Last two suspects found from Jory. Garibone Reaver. Inspector Ellen Keel and our Lion Guard have tracked down the last two suspects. As with the previous three, I leave it to you to handle the questioning. Here are our leads. The Kodan suspect, Trembling Song, has been spotted in Snowden Drifts at the Lost Child Sorrow Camp. Unsubstantiated rumors place our Savari suspect, Astora, hiding out in Caledon Forest in the Rowan Woods. I've been examining the clues already recovered. The Tassie box uncovered trace elements of ma with magical properties. I'm not sure yet, but my guess is that these components formed a compound that turned the effigy into a death trap. I think our last two suspects hold the final pieces to this puzzle. Whatever you discover, return to the crime scene in Lion's Arch afterwards so we can share our findings. Marjorie. Snowden. 
Snowden Drifts. I haven't been there in a while. And then all the way out to Caledon Forest. All right. Well, let's go to Caledon Forest. As soon as I remember where it is on the map. We're not walking all that way. That's a long way to walk in the interest of time. Alright. It's going to make me go a ways up there. Why did it... Game. Whatever. Why would you point me to one spot and then have the spot I need to go be a ways off still? Is that a dead player? He's a dead player. Can I save the dead player? Not if the dead player disappears. Before I get there. You ran from Supposedly there's a mastery point in here too. Whatever, don't care. Ah, uh, I've earned that one though. That's right. you lose. I don't lose. You're just dumb, script. goes the raptor. It's all grody here. All right. Let's find ourselves a Silvari. Let's just swim up and the Silvari. Tell your employers they'll never get their precious riches back. Who? You're not here to kill me, that's obvious, and you're not a lion guard. You found me all the way out here, so you're good at what you do. Tell me, who are you? I need you to come to Lion's Arch for questioning. I didn't kill anyone, and I'm not sending one manicured toe back in the city without a good reason. I was set up! What are you talking about? They posed quite the argument be on that stage or face the police. I used my wiles to get the rep representative spot. Then they gave me a trinket. I didn't have a choice. I can't go back there. You will go back to Lion's Arch and talk if I have to take you back in pieces. Try and kill me. Others have tried and failed. Although I like your determination. All right, I'll turn myself in. Wise decision. See you there. I wanted to do the pieces bit. All right, let's go find our missing Codan. Oh, missing Codan, where are you? Out that way, of course. Whatever. My 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 trying to warp close to where I need to go is failing me. Oh well, we'll just drive the speed bug. Speed bug. I don't think this is the way I need to go. No, I turned off too early. Damn it! This wasn't my exit. None of these are my exits. Oh well, we're here. Alright, Mystery Codan, where are you? I am a VTOL. No, 
No, don't stick to that. Found it. Hello, missing Codan. Are you Codan's judgment come at last? I'm ready to surrender my blood and spirit to you. We need to hear your side of the story. My shame is my shadow. I caused a death by breaking a vow. Now I must give up my own life to pay for it, either by my hand or by Coda's will. Coda, your justice surrounds me. Pierce me. And Return to Lion's Edge. This death. And be judged by those who are injured. I suppose I owe them that, at least. Very well, I will. Good! See you there. Alright. Found all our suspects. Now what? Now we have to go back to Lion's Arch. And by Lion's Arch, I mean Gender and Fields. But first, I don't mind this iron. Oh, well, you know, Gender and Fields isn't that far off. I could just hoof it on foot. We're going to do that, because it's only one map away, and I'm feeling like a cheapskate with my money that I have... 171 gold. It's been so long I forgot how much money I had to my name in this game. It's nowhere near magnitude wise the same as the 30 million. 30, oh shit, what am I up to? Like 33 million? Gil in Final Fantasy XIV now, and I've only been playing that for about two years. I find it a lot easier to make money in that game, though, than this one. I mean, I know if I wanted to, I could... Oh, did not make that. Did not make the bridge. I could probably find ways to make shitloads of money in this game, and I know people do make shitloads of money in this game. I remember back in the day when I would trawl around the forums... I guess lurk would be the more appropriate word. When I was bored at work and stuff, see people talking about all the market shenanigans they're getting up to. It's like, yeah, I just don't care about any of that. It requires more effort than I'm willing to put in to have some money in this game. I'll just rely on getting a few lucky, expensive, pricey drops from things. That's how I'll make all my money. And that's pretty much how I have made my money. Isn't there a bridge somewhere around here? Why, yes. This one right here. Well, you know how to kill your momentum? Hit a book cart just standing in the middle of the road. No more secrets. It's nighttime now. Hi, Kaz, what you doing? How pleasant to see you. I'll make an educated guess that these ingredients are all I need to fine-tune the tassie box settings. Hi, my. Guide yourself at all times. Still innocent. Can I go now? Soon. Can't talk to you. Or to talk to you. The Hylic representative stares you down. He isn't pleased. My hands are clean. What? Do you need to check again? Almost done here. At the very least, they could have given us an ale for the wait. I mean, yeah, probably. Alright, Joy. What's up? I recalibrated the Tassie boxes to detect a refined combination of the chemical compounds found at the, around the crime scene. Fire one up, and let's see what its secrets reveal. Wait, 
I need another. Does that mean I have one? Is that one of those things that I've had just sitting around forever, taking up space? Crypto translator. No, it might be something. No, it's probably not. Or if it is, I dumped it in my bank long ago. <laughs> Whatever. Jory, give me another Tassie Let's box. Let's see what new evidence it turns up. Nice job. Teehee. Teehee. You there, Silvari. This better mean I'm innocent because this isn't my color at all. I don't know what it means. What is happening to Quaggan? Quaggan's colorful. Oh, glowing, shiny, I'm shiny. Ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> Scrit has become the shiny. The truth <sighs> is revealed. The light shows the way. Oh, I don't get to try the others. All right, well, Jory. Still no signs pointing at any of our suspects. Disappointing. This Tassie box is upgraded, right? I can try rescanning the others again. Not a bad idea. Let's give it a shot. On it. No, he's not pleased. His hands are clean. Farley's good. She's good. You're next. You must be kidding. Oh, but we're not. I guess we're gonna scan you now, my Trin. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Looks like our little helper pirate was helping herself. Marjorie Delacroix. I'll remember that. My Trin, you're under arrest by Lion Guard authority. You will present yourself. <laughs> so much for discretion. Crew, it's time to earn your pay. What? Uh oh. Is it just me? Or has the area of effect for the hammer smash gotten much bigger? Magnus. Excuse me, first mate Horik. Have any talky bits? All right, Keel. Her name was my Trin, and she had us all fooled. But she's not getting away. Not on my watch. I'll let you know as soon as we tracked her down. Sounds like another case for the Delacroix investigation team. Not this time. Miss Mead and I are heading back to Divinity's Reach. How come? Now that we know who the culprit is, the rest is Lion Guard work. This is their jurisdiction, after all. So Kaz and I are on to the next job. Well, safe travels. to see you. Jory, what's up? I'd keep your head down if you're sticking around to help. 
Things are going to get ugly. Fast. I'm headed back to Divinity's Reach in the interim. Leaving already? I'm no lion guard. I don't make arrests. You should drop in at the dead end bar when you get a chance. Are you a drink? I'll do that. Alright. Well, we are done here for the moment. And, speaking of being done, it's time to wrap it up for this part, because at that time, it's like the perfect wrap-up point. So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing, am I doing good, am I doing bad, if I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because, um, I ran into that book cart while driving my speed bug through Gender and Fields a little bit ago, and it killed some of my momentum. But it didn't kill, like, all my momentum. But I still hit the book cart, which probably wasn't very nice. But it was a very sturdy book cart. I don't know where I'm going with this. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, PS5, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this small little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction, so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this small little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NinaWillie666, as I will be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I'm NinaWillie666, and I will see you all next time.